Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, on this class, we'll be learning how to achieve the second method of our pencil skirt. The last method I taught you was how to add a butt lift to your skirt. Now, on this tutorial, we'll be learning how to hide our low stomach. So, you see, on my channels, on my tutorials, you're going to be learning a whole lot because pattern drafting is where I am based so i'll be teaching you how to achieve any style with pattern drafting that is what i do i do pattern drafting so you'll be learning how to do any kind of design you want with pattern drafting on how to get from the pencil skirt you'll be learning how to get your to your mermaid skirt to your pencils and um, to your pieces skirt any kind of design you want to make using these patterns so do not forget to subscribe like and share and whatever tutorial i drop make sure you practice and practice and practice because without practice you can't achieve anything you have to always make sure you practice so see you in class bye pattern this is my pattern paper we'll be we'll be folding our our paper our pattern paper into two by two we'll be folding it like the way i'm folding it we'll be folding it into two just like so like the way i'm doing so i folded it and it's equal now the next thing you will do is to rule down your reference line on the folded part now with this pattern this is the front of my skirt and this is this will be the back of my skirt now what i will do is I will rule down 1.5 inches on the folded part of our paper, of our pattern paper. I'm ruling down 1.5. My rule is 1.5. So I will, I'm ruling down 1.5 inches. Now, on the top of our paper, I'll be reading down my reference line of two inches. So this is where our this is where our, part, our measurement will be starting from. From the reference line. And this my other rule is two inches. So I'm in a reference line of two inches, which becomes our waistline. Now from there, I will be coming down from here. Now you will need your low stomach measurement. I will I will drop the how to get your low stomach. You will be measuring from your waist down to the fullest part of your stomach mine is five inches so i'll be ruling it down from your waist down to the fullest part of here you have this our biggest stomach where, like when you see that that place that bulges that's where we'll be hiding so mine is five inches from my the length is five inches from my waist so you you're you're going to measure yours this is five inches and my hip is nine inches my above knee is 18 inches and this will be the end of my skirt where the paper stopped i'll be doing the same thing on the side five inches nine inches 18 inches 
I can't wait to make all these skates. I'm going to make them and we all, we all make them together. We, we are making all these skates together. Then you see the fitting. Try yours and with your with your measurement. Try yours and see the fitting. Now this is our waist. This is our low stomach. This is our hip arc. And this is our above knee. Now this will be the set our center front. And this place will be our side front. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is to take my waist, round width circumference divided by 4. Mine is 8.25. And I'll be adding 1 inch for my dart. For my low stomach. My low stomach is 36. 36, I'll be dividing it by 4. My low stomach is 36. So you will check your round circumference, the circumference of your low stomach. Mine is 36. I'll be dividing it by 4. And let's see what I will get. Yeah, I have nine inches. So my lobster stomach is nine inches. And my hip, for my hip arc, my round hip is 44.5 divided by four inches is 11.1. Now, for my hip, I'll be minusing one inch from my hip point, which I'll be taking 10.1 instead of 11.1. I'll be adding back the 11, the one inch I'm moving. I'll add it back at the back. I'll be adding it at the back. So I'm taking 10.1 since I've moved one inch. I'll bring the same thing down to my above knee. 10.1. Now, for this skirt, it depends on how you want it to be penciled. I don't want it to be, too, I don't want the penciling to be too much. I will just minus one inch from mid. So my penciling will just be one inch for this um, skirt. Remember, with on the other one, we did 2.5 inches. So I'll still bring whatever I have here, I'll still bring it down. So 10.1 minus. Okay. Now this is it. I'll be connecting the lines. My soulmate, so now you so many curves for your skirt. Please try to blend up wherever you have any sharp edge. Try to blend up, please. So I'll be blending up. Yeah. And also blend up here. And I'll still blend up here. Yes, you can do blend, you can blend using your free hand. Because our curves do not give us everything. Oh, okay, here. Yeah. We're supposed to connect to. Okay, yeah, it's coming this way. So, what I did is to. I, 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 I had to rule from my 
from my waist from my that the one inch added from my dart I have to connect it down and I, I have to blend it to connect very well to my hip and I blended this place down very well too so now the next thing we will do is on how to achieve our low stomach now to achieve our low stomach we'll come to our low stomach point and I'll be taking 0.6 on both sides of the line of our low stomach line and I'm connecting it to half inch away now I'm using the blender I'm connecting to the blended part half inch away which is here so I'll connect it down to a half inch away and the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be bringing down coming down by on our waist by 0 0.5 and I'll be connecting it to this I'll be having a dart on it so I'll be connecting it with a little bit a little bit of curve to the side so this is our front as simple as this now for the back I'm going to be drafting my reference line for the back I'm doing the same thing I did at the front. Yeah, I hope this is as easy as ABC. I know it's very easy. Now I'll bring that, I'll bring back all my measurements. I will not be needing my loads to mark at the back. So now I'll just bring down my, with my hip and my, Knee, knee, my hip arc and my knee above knee measurements now like I said before my round waist plus one inch is 9.025 my round now my hip will be putting our exact hip for the back which is 11.1 On here for the back I'm minusing one inch for my pencil minusing one inch do the same thing for the length For the back, you know, we removed one inch at the front, I'll be adding it back to the back. So, we'll be raising the back by 0 0.5, and at the above knee, we'll be coming up by four inches. And on the waist, the center back waist, this is our center back. And this is our side back. Now here I'll be coming down by two inches. Then here I'll be bringing my 0 0.5 here 
I'll be connecting this with a straight through. So what we have left here is 1.5. So with my long, with my cover, I'll connect this, our 0 0.5. Please, the curve should not be too much to the four inches we came up by on our above knee. I'm connecting it back to the 1.5 inches left. Yeah. So I don't think there's any curve here. So this is our skirt. It's as simple as A, B, C. So the next thing I'll be doing is to divide our skirt by two. So I'll be dividing our skirt. <laughs> this is what I do too. Divide my paper. Now this is our center back. Our center back is complete. I'll just have to cut it out. We we'll move on to our front pattern. Now, for the front pattern, I'll be cutting open my low stomach. The dust we just added. I'll be cutting open the lower one. Please, very close, not too close, very close to. You're not cutting it out, yeah. To so our line. And this is what you'll be doing. You'll be closing it. You close your low stomach. See? I have to see cut here. See, that is it. That is it. Okay, this is okay. I'll be sort of taping it down with my tape. I don't know, I love this tape so much. I don't like the masking tape. I love using this tape. It can make me see through my lines. I'm teaching you this in exactly the way I teach my students. I'll teach you this. So the next thing you will do is to open up this place so your pattern can relax, can be straight. Mm -hmm. So here, this is it. Now I'll be cutting out my pattern. Now for this, you see after closing our low stomach, this place is as if it's bent. Our center front is not supposed to be bent. So what, I would, what you do is, you use your rule to get a straight line. From your waist, you connect it back. center front is now straight so guys we are through with our pattern see they are all very very simple this is our back 
and this is our front this is the front of our pattern this is our front so guys let me know what you think about this tutorial hope it's very simple and easy yeah it's very simple now the next thing we'll do on our next tutorial is how to cut them i'll be padding this skirt most especially this one i'll be padding it everything to be a padded skirt we will do everything together we'll work everything like everything to the finishing you will see how to to how to join your pencil skirt with a nice finishing so guys see you okay guys to know how we parted this skirt check out our sewing tutorial for the pencil skirt method one please go check that tutorial to know how to cut and part your skirt now i'll be taking four inches for our dart my dart will be four inches i'm taking for both front and for both the back four inches for our dart i don't want to go too much with this because i've already explained everything that you need to know and what you have to do for this skirt on our method one so please go check that tutorial so i'm just running over everything just take your four inches for that and so come down by zero point come down by five inches Coming down by five inches for my dart leg. So yeah, I'm coming down by five inches for my dart leg, and the width is zero point five. So I'll sew it down on both the uh, main fabric and our lining. So please for your darts when after when making when doing your darts please do not do not stitch just tie it down like so like the way I'm tying down right now This is how to sew your darts guys this is how to sew your darts and yeah after joining our skirts this is the final look of our skirts after joining and everything go try yours and let's see this is so lovely and beautiful if it's so comfortable you don't have to struggle with anything like it's so comfortable and lovely thank you guys for watching love you all please let's keep doing this please subscribe don't just watch just subscribe thank you guys bye